So hey everyone, it's November 7th, 2022. We just got past Halloween. We did not have a practice last week on Halloween. We took the week off, let the guys rest. I handed out candy to children on Monday. I had like 15 kids. I, I had two cemeteries, a haunted house foyer. It was like a haunted house you go in. Um, I mean, I put hours and hours into the decorating. Little James, he came with his kids to trick or treat. That was pretty cool. So, you know, it's good to see members of the our, our sports team out and about, you know, taking their kids out, doing activities because we got to be involved in the community to do what we do. This is a community sport, and we're going to be in the tournament soon. The problem is, I'm the only one here, and it's like, what the fuck, dude? You know how you always know someone's lying? It's when they overload a bunch of excuses. We had a new guy who was supposed to show, and it's just, I got this going on, I got that going on. It's like, you didn't say nothing to me. I had to message you and find out if you're still coming. And all of a sudden, you give me these, like, way far out stories. It's like, what the fuck? You know, I'm not your wife. I'm not your teacher. I'm your coach. I'm here to talk to you. I'm here to be your friend. But when it comes to the game, I'm also going to set you straight because, yeah, my athletic ability isn't what it used to be. I'm an old man. I'm an old guy. It's not going to stop me. I'm still striving to be the best I can be. But And I come out, and it's an insult when other people don't come out. And, you know, you get these new people, and they just blow it the first week. Oh, I want to be on a team. Like, you can't even make the first practice, dude. Like, that, that first impression of how I perceive you is just like, whatever, dude. You know what I'm saying? It's like you don't want to be, you can't, you don't want to be on this team. I'm not going to make you play. You have to be assertive and come out yourself. So the guys, the young gentlemen, you gave me the court for our guys, and I'm going to go play. And hopefully, our guys show. We're supposed to have six or seven. Big James will come back next week. Uh, but I'm waiting on Sergio, Luke, Zach, Little James. I'm waiting on four or five guys. Mark. So let's see what happens. I got my uh, strawberry kiss delish. I love bangs. I mean, they're they're they give you energy. They have safe everything that's in them is natural and safe. So a lot of vitamins. It's fortified with vitamins. Good for basketball. See, I sound like the spokesman. Bang, baby, bang. So I'm gonna go bang on the floor. Luke's here. So let's get it going, man. Time to practice. Oh, by the way, go fans. And I got an apple crisp vinaigrette roast cooking in the slow cooker. And I'll add it to this video at the end of the video so you guys can see it.
told her to just look at Ira and I'll take a practice shot. Waiting on Mark. Waiting on Little James, Mark, Zach. Haven't heard from Marlin in two months, so I don't know. Sergio. Big James is at work. You know, so we're you know, waiting on more guys. I suppose it is what it is, but it's always nice when you have enough guys to play a game, so two on two, four on four. I prefer five on five, full court. But if we can get away with three on three with our guys alone, it's good chemistry practice. So all I'm doing right now is building up my endurance. So if you notice I'm running to the net, I'm running around the circle, I'm putting in layups. Um, I'm, I remember how I touched the switch hands and put it out in front of you. I'm doing that, you'll notice that. So that's something you can utilize in your games. Pay attention in the videos and you'll learn things. Okay, my athletic ability is not as good as some guys, but wisdom, wisdom wins games. It's not always athleticism, it's wisdom. That's why in, when we won first place in Sparks, I had two three-pointers. I made three, three shots of three-pointers. I made two out of three. Third shot almost went in, nobody put my rebound in. Or I think they put it in. So technically I've been involved in, the, in our winning game. I was involved. Um, like I say, it's wisdom. It wasn't my athletic ability, it was my shot accuracy was up. And that's what I want to do in practice. I might goof around, but in a game, I'm going to try to increase my shot accuracy. Make two out of two threes, three out of three threes. Be on fire. But you got to be committed to the hoop. I mean, every time, you got to really focus. You really got to shoot it. You got to get some lift in the air, and you really got to put some, put some on fire to it. You know, and people. People throw air balls, at least most of my shots hit the net. Truthfully, most of my shots either hit the net, the hoop, or they go in. We just need a rebound, a good rebound. So just pay attention when I play in games, because you'll see I'll hit the hoop. We got nobody to pick up the rebound.
Um, two adults per team and then the youths will be mixed in with us. I'm going to move the camera so I can get the whole court. It's full court, four on four game. So two young guys get sauce, Yeah, just two adults on each, two adults on each team. They
that boy. I don't know why you're
alert, everybody. It looks like we're done. We played five games. The first game we got killed, seven to fifteen. Um, I don't know what happened. I was, I had like five of those seven points, but I can't hold the team. It, it takes everybody to pass and shoot and score. I was really hot, and then they're like, "Rick, you stopped scoring. You didn't get out." I'm like, "I didn't see the ball for like almost ten minutes of that game." So when somebody's hot, you definitely want to give them the ball. So that was the first mistake. Besides, a few. we we learned, we got better. The second game we won like 15 to like eight or seven. It was actually like 14 to four, and they caught up and got up to 10. Um, third game we won, it was like 15 to 12 or 13. Um, no, on the, this last game we played, it was 13 or 15. We had the three at the end. Uh, the one before, same thing happened. We were really ahead. They came back and got 10 or 11, but we closed 15. You know what I noticed what the problem was? Even though we won the last four games, it was sloppy. Sometimes it got sloppy. Like some, some of the players would just run up and shoot the three. There was no setting up. Every time I set up the ball, one of my, my players scored. I had tons of assists. The reason why is it's called synergy. So you give, when you give the ball to someone, it builds confidence, which makes them more likely to make the three-pointer and the two-pointer. So I set up, that was the first thing I was trying to do, is set up my guys. When I had an open shot, I took it. Every game I scored multiple points. Every single game I had a six. I had a good day. First game I had like five out of the seven points. Second game I had some really good drives to the net. Um, and the first game I was like three for three. Maybe even four for four. I'll have to check the reel. Um, it's really not about me, but I try to, as a coach, I try to use think of myself as an example. Um, if you're going to be a big shot, you know, we, we're here we are, we got 14 points. We need one point to win it, and they got five. And we don't, and we can't score the final point. And everybody's trying to throw it to the net. Everybody wants to get the winning shot. You know what the winning shot is about? Let's say I, I go run through the, I might run around the circle, deep my, got, deep my opponent, and then pass to the outside and set up a nice shot to one of my players. Because basketball is a talent sport. And there's no talent when you run up to the circle and you just throw it and you keep doing the same thing and you keep missing and you keep missing. It's like, dude, you've missed five in a row. Five plays. In the meantime, they turn those five plays into twos and threes, and pretty, it's pretty soon, they're tied with us. So, what was the, even though we won, what was the two problems in the game? Shots that shouldn't be throwing. You're not going to, when you got three guys covering you, why would you take that shot? And then you miss, and nobody's under the net. So that's the first thing. You miss sloppy shots. The second thing, no passing. You, it, but I would be, for example, I run down to the end of the court, I'm wide open, and my players are just dribbling, looking the other way, like, dude, fast, fast passing, fast pace passing. Don't think about it. Know where your player is, know where to pass it. A lot of times my players didn't know where to be. Like, it, like in defense, you should always have three guys to guard that hoop. You don't have to play man-to-man, -man. you just need to play a, a small area and you cut out their shots less so they're not making as many threes or not able to get to the hoop. Then we, well, we had a lot of turnovers, that was the third thing. Turnovers, sloppy shots, lack of pass. Yeah, we won, but when you have 14 points and the other team has four, how is it they get 10 unanswered points? How is it we can't score that last point? Watch the footage. It's like there's no teamwork. It's like every man for himself. Nobody's setting it up. People are getting nervous and, and shooting under pressure instead of waiting to get open. It's a simple layup in the net. You get you get you get in formation. Two guys on the end, one guy in the middle, and you close it in. You know, you go to the left, you go back out to the right, and you have the guy come up the middle and put it in. If we do not do that, we will not succeed in winning the teams at least. In the league, there are teams that move the ball eight to nine times before they score. It's an art. And when this is basketball. Basketball is an art, and you got to treat it like an art. This is Lord Rick, the Paranormal Ghost Society fans. I'll see you guys next week, Monday. There's five games on this reel. They are, there are some great shots. 
my shot accuracy was probably 80, 85 percent today. Almost most of my shots went in. Um, I judge myself, but it, as a coach, I have to judge my team and say, "Hey, this is what we need to work on." Because if we don't work on those things, we'll lose. Because you're playing guys that are college level basketball players in league. We can still beat them. We just got to be at their level or come up, step up and play. And I came out today pumped up. I got bones sticking out of my neck. They're all out of place. My knee's blowing today. It's throbbing. I mean, I can barely walk. And I, you know, and I came out today, fibromyalgia, back pain, injuries and all, and I produced every single game to inspire others on my team that this is what we need to do no matter what, you gotta step it up. So check out the links, like our Facebook page, give our video a like. I'll see you guys next week. Peace out www.paranormalbusociety.org backslash pgs phantoms.htm pgs is capital and phantoms but anyways go to the link check out our team page uh, on facebook and our website we're going to be playing in the tournament soon i'll put it up for you guys uh, a few more practices to go if i don't see you next week happy thanksgiving but we should be there I don't know if you guys can see me. It's hard because I don't have my other camera where it gives me a view of the opposite, like it has a reverse screen. But um, good five games. My guys left. It was good seeing one of my. Um, Sergio brought his family with him, and that's that's good. I like to see dads bring their kids and wife along. So, you know, I have friends come see me practice, and today I was a powerhouse. I'm not ashamed of how I played. I tried, I purposely played harder today to kind of show you guys how it's going to be when I, when we're in league. It's going to be fast paced, accuracy is going to have to be up, pass is going to have to be on. Um, I had only one turnover, so I'm not, like I said, I'm not disappointed. There's, we get guys that have 10 turnovers a game, and it's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. You can't make those mistakes in league. But anyways, I was just wanted to say one more thing. Um, you guys know I'm into fitness, but also eating healthy, so tonight, Actually, this morning, I put a roast in my crock pot, and I got an apple crisp vinaigrette marinade, added like 20 different spices, seasonings. I'm slow cooking it all day, so it's tender and pulls apart. And when I get home, I'll either make a rice, or I'll throw, I'm, gonna, I'm thinking I'm going to throw some vegetables on in with it, or a side of vegetables, probably on the side. And, I'll, and I will film, I will photograph and film the healthy eat. For you guys to see because I don't want my films just to be about me it's not about me I want them to be about basketball and teach youth and people how to play the game and learn some things but also to follow our, our team which is the Phantoms and promote our paranormal compared to paranormal ghost society which we've been on TV I know we've been around for over 20 years doing urban exploration a lot of cool we've done everything around Carson City and Reno and Northern Nevada ghost towns mine so I'm, I'm proud of what we have but I'm also proud of this team and so I'm gonna go home I'll show you guys the roast um, that's gonna be the end of the segment you guys got the five games we took some photos things are looking good we had some half of the team showed half didn't um, if you notice the guys that show there's some chemistry there I was a little disappointed in the lack of passing at times. If you need one point to win, get fancy. Treat this shit. Treat this shit like a piece of art. Fucking move that ball ten times if you have to to someone's under the net and just whoop. I'm a tall guy, so when I reach my hand up, I only have two feet to put this ball. So if you notice today, all my shots were off the fingertips. Real light shots. And they all went in. They all rolled in. It doesn't require really thinking. It's just one of those things you're, you're either going to, you just do it. You just do it. And some people panic and hit the backboard real hard. It's not necessary. When you're six foot five, six foot four, you can put your hand up and jump up and nearly tap it in. So I'm out of here. I will show you guys my healthy eats later. Um, have a good night. It's November 7th. I've done 10,000 steps today. Not bad. Did a lot of running. Sometimes I hate running for nothing. If you're not going to give, if I run all over the place and you don't give me a, the ball, you're nuts. There's no coverage on me when I'm running. There's a lot of guys that can't keep up because I zip all over the place. To lose my lose the opponent. So just pay to pay mind to that too. You'll see me lose my the guy. I had a guy. One of the youths covered me for like two, three games, and he would get on me, and all of a sudden I just zip around him and go around the circle, and that was it. 
and no longer was covering me, I was wide open for the shot. Got to move around. Our guys have always got to be moving. We're better on our feet. Have a good night, everybody. It's Lord Rick. Peace out. So this is my crisp apple honey vinaigrette with herbs roast. I just got out of an awesome evening of basketball practice. Um, I'm pretty proud of myself. I mean, considering I have some bulging discs in my neck that are really hurting and the discs are out of place and I had all this nerve pain in my hands and my arms, I'm surprised I played today. And I mean, I played five games and every game I was pretty solid with, with quite a few accurate shots that went in and some passing and but you got to eat right to go with the fitness and so my videos are always directed at fitness and good eats and uh right now you're looking at the roast and i'm what i'm gonna do is what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna it's probably gonna pull apart yeah see look i mean it's tender but you're got it's been out of the you got to make sure it's moist and you got to rotate it but it is i mean you can see it's just pulling apart and i'm going to break it up into pieces for about a half hour because i'm going to break it up into pieces because what happens is yeah the outside's all full of the seasoning and the crisp apple the crisp apple honey it's actually apple honey so it's Chris Apple Honey Vinaigrette. And, you you know, you can put holes in the roast so it cooks thoroughly in there. But if you don't do that, since it's pulling apart, I'll break it up into littler pieces. That way, all this marinade, seasoning, vinaigrette, the meat's going to absorb it now that I'm breaking it apart. And we'll continue to do that. And I'll do it again in another 5-10 minutes because want to kind of get a shredded type of meat that absorbs all the great flavoring and and I try to integrate cooking videos for you guys mixed in with the basketball videos so you understand that along with all this exercise playing full court I also am trying to eat right I'm not trying to shove chips and Twinkies in my you know for dinner down my throat I'm trying to eat some a good meat maybe some vegetables or a stir fry tonight but I will show you the final results once it hits the plate, um, you guys are going to really enjoy this. So it's definitely a solid meal. It's been cooking on low since early this morning. See how it's simmering on the edges? Low is all you need. High is good too, but you don't want to overcook it either. But you want to be able to break it apart and so it absorbs all the marinade and the fl flavors. And so that's what I'm going to have to be patient. It's 9 p.m. We got a snowstorm coming and I'm just going to veg out for the rest of the night but like i say basketball was awesome we played full court we got a new guy named sergio and he's coming along really good um great on defense stealing balls and it's just you know i'm proud of ourselves i mean we lost the first game yeah we lost we lost the first game but the other four games we won there were some issues people were lacking in the passing department and throwing up sloppy shots and a couple other things but we still managed to, as a team to pull it through. It wasn't pretty, but we got it done. So anyways, um, yeah, this is my um, roast, my chuck roast. It's got to cook some more, um, boil out those fats. There's a little fat on the roast, and you want that to kind of cook out so that way you get nothing but pure roast, pure meat. And uh, that's what we got nearly here. It's looking pretty good. Um, you know, shred it up a little. But I'll show you guys the final results soon. Um, just give me a couple of minutes, okay? I'll let this absorb a little more before I, I get it on a plate with some veggies. Bon appetit, everybody. 
garlicky green beans with a nice roast.